Good day, everyone. My name is Maria Kondzielska, and this is Poland Daily Culture. Have you ever wanted to meet a magician? Today, you've got a chance. Ladies and gentlemen, Magician Y. Hello. Thank you for being with us. Hopefully, he won't make us all disappear. But let's ask him a few questions. Your name is Magician Y. Yes, just, just Y. <laughs> Friends call me Y. Why, why? 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 Because, you know? No, I'm, uh, when I was a teenager and I was fascinated by, fascinated by magic, I read a legend. Uh, and the legend was saying that uh, the person that would take Y as a name, the letter Y as a name, will possess magical powers. And we, in that legend, uh, they were saying that Pythagoras, the famous mathematician, he took the, the name Y for a week. And of course, he's like we, it's, it, thousands of years after, he is really well known by everybody. I think it worked. And also, Y is the simple <laughs> symbol of, uh, you know, of the path that every, everyone can be a good and bad. So I, I thought it's really inspiring for oh, that's the, interesting. the Y so... generation that we are. The, the young people, so I thought it's really inspiring and uh, by, by, by carrying the name of the letter Y, I thought I might inspire the generation to choose the good path and become magical. Interesting. So that's the hidden story behind it. Yeah, that no one knows. First time, I'm <laughs> just kidding. So when there are two paths, a good one and a bad one, yeah. do you think like going the good one or do you think like sometimes there is element moments when the no, magic I, leads you to another path? No, I, don't, I try to stay out of black magic as, as hard as possible and fight black magic. I would call Nova Days, so as a skeptical person, I would call black magic the people that are fortune-telling for money and uh, misleading people with, di with diagnosis and stuff like this. I'm trying to stay away from this and fight this as much as, as, as possible. Also, the scams on the streets, we were doing some, some videos that were kind of like making uh, people aware that there are scams with three card Monty or stuff like this. But I'm planning to do much more in the future. And this is one of the steps in between of, you know, doing magic to make people smile, curing autism. And in between, there will be some social help from magicians to, not, uh, to people not being cheated in daily life. Wow. Because, you know, I, when I do magic, when somebody's coming to my show, when a corporation is hiring me or you ask me to, to be interviewed and do some magic, you know I'm a magician and you know that I cheat. So I'm the most, this is the, 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 the most honest profession because I promise to cheat and I cheat, right? <laughs> do exactly what I promised, right? Yeah. But the thing is that if somebody's using the same techniques to, to really cheat people without saying, like they say they, they can tell like the future and they take money for it and it's bullshit, then, you know, and then it's not okay. Absolutely. And I fight so this. even though you're wearing black, you're actually a white wizard. Yeah, in my heart, I'm white wizard, yeah, like like Gandalf. <laughs> so you make things disappear. You Always. break phones and you create lollipops. What can you not do? I've done stuff a lot of stuff with money. I I like to think that I don't often make stuff disappear. I like to think of myself as more like appearing stuff because it's more productive like lollipops or money. It will sound like I'm a, like, like cocky, but uh, I'm not, but I can do anything. But it's not that I am so great, it's that I believe anything is possible with the amount of uh, work and practice. So it's funny to be a magician as a lifestyle because you almost never say no to an idea. <laughs> you just have this idea and after a couple of years you might figure out how to do it. So you would say there is impo it's impossible for somebody to levitate. And I would say there will be a way to maybe make it look like somebody is levitating. But also there is another step. And uh, we often say that magic is just a science that we don't know yet. I don't know if you've seen those jetpacks that people are working on. True. Oh, no. So they are basically levitating, right? 
So, like, yeah. imagine what will be possible in 100 years. I think everything is possible. How, what does a everyday, everyday life of a magician look like? So I, I wake up 4.30 <laughs> in the morning, I start to shuffle my playing cards. <laughs> just kidding, I never wake up at 4.30 in the morning. No, it's just like typical, uh, typical job. No, okay, okay, I'm trying to make it like, no, it's not a typical job. Like every day is d different. So there are days that I'm going to interview and today I'm going to the corporate gig, right? So it will be a different day because then we will be talking, then I'm going to go home, uh, prepare for my show and do the show. There will be a day where I go to uh, shoot my videos on the street. And then uh, for a whole day I'm on the street with a lot of sun and then often sunburns. So I get ready in the morning and then I go to shoot, uh, shoot this. So every, every day is different. Sometimes I stay at house and just work on magic. It's kind of nice. It's, there are some pluses and minuses because of, obviously I don't know what I'll be doing in a week or a month. I can check the calendar, but I'm not like, this is not scheduled uh, perfectly. But in the other side, I never get bored because I'm not working 8 to 16, so 8 to 4, right? So, Absolutely. Cool. Because you meet people uh, in the street, uh, you meet different people also in your videos. How people react on your magic? Do they ever freak out, for example? Have you ever a moment when someone totally freaked out or exposed you? People are freaking out. Uh, I don't believe that I got a situation in which somebody would expose me. Like, I think there is too much tension to that word because, you know, as I said, this is a magic trick that's supposed to bring you joy and uh, the, the feeling of astonishment. So if somebody is doing that, they are mostly hurting themselves. You know, my ego is okay. Like, I, I, can, <laughs> I can cut it out, actually. So in most of the, like, uh, Situations, people they want to play, they want to have fun, and uh, but some of the people they are skeptical, and they when they cannot figure it out, then then they start to freak out. There are different you know situations. I I like to think that everybody is uh, equal to magic, so it doesn't matter if I have a celebrity because I've done some, some a few videos with with famous people, or it's a person on the street. It's it's uh, like camera guy who I will be doing magic after the, the interview and uh, they all react to magic but the difference is just in a character so or the magic that I'm presenting I had the situation when somebody would, was really scared but it's obvious because I produced this real spider in their house yeah <laughs> I, I won't be doing I that want for him, you I'm one inviting you then yeah. <laughs> there were situations where when I was doing magic and I wasn't expecting the reaction so one one uh, singer, uh, she cried. She was so moved that she, she cried. So it was a genuine reaction and I loved that. So, you know, like it's, for me, it's the, 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 the thing that I'm living for, the reactions. And I love that everybody is reacting. There's, no, I never met somebody that magic would be like, Phew, you know, but also every, everybody is different. So every time the reaction is different. So I think it's a time for a little bit of magic. Do you want to see some magic? Yes. So let's try this. I have a pen here somewhere. Because I have a mic. Can you hold up the hands like this? Perfect. Like that. Okay. okay. And hold it like this. And are you right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. Okay. So I want you to close both fists. And because of what uh, you said, you might think I am cheating because I ask you if you're right-handed and maybe I want to force you to choose right hand. Or I'm just saying that for you, so you will be thinking that you're going to uh, cheat at me and choose the left hand. But anyway, I want you to choose one hand and just say left or right, it's a free choice. Which one do, you, do we use? Right. Right, okay. So open the right one, keep the left one closed. Yes. And uh, go like this. I'm going to write the letter Y here, which is my name. You can check it out. There is a letter okay. Y. Watch carefully. I'm going to take the letter Y. It's not wearing off, right? But I'm going to take it. Just grab it from your hand. Like this. I have it. Yes. And watch, I'm going to just... He grab it out. Look. There's no magic Y. I never touched you, right? I'm going to drop it 
into your left hand before you open, okay? Yes. Did I come near you? No. There is a table between us. There is a table between us. He didn't come near me. I didn't touch you. He didn't touch me. Can you open the hand slowly? Check out, what you? There is Y here. Do you see it? He didn't touch me. That's true. Check if it's permanent. And it's permanent. I cannot get rid of it. It's a tattoo. <laughs> it's a no, tattoo. It's a, it's a <laughs> now I'm, <laughs> I'm marked, I'm signed up already. Now you, won't, now, now you won't regret my name. Why? Never, right? That was real magic. Thank you for watching Poland Daily Culture.